I'm Raphael Vignoli. I'm an architect that uh, has been working in the UK for uh, approximately 10 years now. I'm based in New York City, uh, and we have offices in different parts of the world. And Colchester for us was a discovery, I mean, for me uh, personally. But it was also a, uh, an extraordinary surprise in terms of encountering a um, completely unique institution, one that you, know, you would have a hard time defining it as a gallery or as a museum or as an educational facility. It's more of an experiment in which all of these things get mixed almost without any kind of hierarchical organization. It was a remarkable opportunity for us to participate in a competition that really was uh, planning to define a new home for it. So the city organized the competition through the Royal Institute of British Architects and uh, we were invited to participate in that competition. And so the first design principle was to try to reduce the weight of the building on the grade, on grade, to eliminate deeper foundations. As, as a result, the building is a, a very long structure that surrounds the central crescent form. We decided to clad it with something that wasn't at all referential to any of the materials that are typical on the city, basically because if you really look at the architecture of follies, I mean, buildings in gardens, they are always self-referential. They are always, in and of themselves, um, uh, sort of interventions that have their own personality. As you approach the building, the most impressive part is a very large canopy, which is an extension of the skin of the building, defining an entry court uh, that will be occupied by outdoor sculptures. And, um, and then through a very transparent uh, skin of glass, you enter an, e an equally large entry lobby. And as you walk through, you're walking in the main gallery. The main gallery has a series of uh, partitions that um, allow you to create uh, more intimate spaces, but still within the large scale, high volume space. And then as you walk around, you're, you encounter a series of objects which are kind of creating this buffer between the large scale and the small scale. And in those spaces, there are auditoriums and special galleries that are for very special works that in some cases need very strict climate control. And then as you filter that, you come to places like this, a really large educational component of the program that uh, relates to the garden, that also has the ability of access uh, uh, directly from the semicircle of the main garden. The end of the sequence is, is essentially the restaurant, which is an extraordinarily important part of the brief because it's, it's almost like an independent venue. It works at a scale that is both integrated but also could live on its own independent from the activities of her site. Well, there is no clear explanation what it, what it's called. I mean, some people have found wonderful rationales for it. Somebody told me that it is like the crest of a helmet. And, but in reality, I just thought that it was remarkably happy in a way. And uh, it doesn't have a pretentious quality to it at the same time. So uh, um, I think you see a lot of gold. 